guys, welcome back to Genshi Plans. Today is uh, something that you haven't seen in a long time, a traveler's notebook setup. Um, I decided, I decided this like a year ago at the beginning of the year, I'm like, I'm going to set up a separate content planner. And you saw that, that was my um, happy planner. I'll link a video if you want to see what that looked like. And it didn't last for very long. I don't think I made it to March. So we'll see what happens here. But again, the beginning of the year, I decided that I would set up a separate content planner. So I moved everything from my um, pocket size ring planner into this personal size traveler's notebook. This is a Foxy Fix. Uh, Wanderlust Butterscotch, I think those are the right words. Um, I restringed it. I gave it an extra uh, piece of elastic so that it would uh, be a little bit, I don't know, it, for a while it was not sitting closed, but now it's been sitting on the shelf closed long enough that it, it sort of stayed closed on its own, which is great. I love the look of a nice floppy leather cover just sitting there. Um, anyway, so it doesn't have any pockets or anything, but I just decided to set this up, um, because I was kind of feeling a traveler's notebook and definitely am happy in my rings for planning, but for something that's different like this, this works for me. It's nice and portable as well, so I can bring it with me if I'm, you know, out and about, which doesn't happen very often these days. Uh, right now I'm working from home, so it's just next to me on the desk if I need to jot something down. So I'm just going to show you today what I have set up in here, um, and you probably won't be seeing a lot of this because a lot of it tries to stay kind of secret, but today you get a little bit of a behind-the-scenes look at my content and insert creation process. Uh, so the first insert here, I already had this set up from before. <laughs> There's just like, these are some blank pages I probably won't use, some grid pages of like a journal. So I just did some very bad lettering. Um, I've got one, uh, there's a, a general to-do list in the front here, but I have that covered. Um, and then this is a little journaling I did for my monthly newsletter, some notes, brain dump stuff. This is some ideas for maybe the office. So this is just some space for general journaling, kind of freeform stream of consciousness stuff, as well as general to-do lists overall. Uh, I want to try to get into the habit of using this frequently. Um, but for now that's, that's all that's in there. <laughs> the second one, um, is video and well, basically content planning. So there's video ideas. And then I whipped up a little bit of a, um, well, actually, this is now available in my shop. This is video planning. Um, so it's got like all the various different steps you could ever possibly need for video preparation, as well as a couple extra spots for stuff that you want to fill in yourself, extra steps. It's a place to jot out some draft of what the description is going to say, what your call to action is going to be for your video, uh, space for five eye cards on the video. I put notes about the, um, the thumbnail in this section and then script notes and outlines of stuff here. So I've used it for one video. I don't need it for a lot. Like I didn't script this video, obviously. Um, so I've got several of those in here. I want to try to get into the habit of planning my videos a little bit more. Make them a little bit more polished and fun. So that is on my shop as insert 24. Then this one here is insert 25. And I'm going to be showing you all of these inserts in more detail um, on Sunday's video as well. The more, most recent releases from January. This one is also available. This one is for blog posts. You may have noticed I haven't posted a blog post in a long time. Um, and maybe having this insert in here will remind me to make a point of doing that. I tried doing it frequently for a while and it was only stressing me out. So, um, I'm trying to go for quality over quantity now, but if you have any topic ideas, do drop them my way. And then this one here also in my style is a, a printable insert, but not available for my shop. Um, this is, I made like a grid sort of planning thing for my, my monthly newsletter. If you are familiar with my newsletter, if you're subscribed, uh, this is what it looks like. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe because you do get um, a coupon code for my shop with every monthly newsletter that comes out, just kind of a roundup of everything I've been up to. So this kind of helps me visualize that as I'm planning it for the month. Then this next one is for inserts. So this is my whole list of ones that I want to make ideas that I get from myself, from people. And then here, um, I made out a grid that's the size of the pocket size. Cause generally I will start with the, de the design on the pocket size and then size it up. 
uh, so that I want to make sure everything fits in pocket first and then go bigger. So this one uh, is insert 27. It's going to be coming out soon as a meal planning insert. I'm very excited about this one. I'm also doing a podcast checklist like the YouTube and blog ones. This one is coming up also this month. I'm really excited about this one. It's a Dutch door weekly daily combo. Um, so these are all going to be coming to my shop in February, so keep an eye out for that. So I just have a bunch of blank pages in here so that I can kind of jot out designs and with a pen, you know, when I'm away from my computer or not ready to sit down and actually create an insert. I just want some ideas, so that's what that's for. Then, uh, I stuck this little card holder in here because this is the, um, debit card for the bank account that I use for all of my stuff. And then in the back of it is the zipper pouch. I just have some book darts because I don't know why not. This one is basically everything that got moved out of my pocket planner is in here. So I have a, a log of my coupon codes that are currently active. And then I literally just pulled this out of my pocket planner and tucked it in here because it's the fold out. I just figure I'll use the same insert, just tuck it under the string. And then um, if I decide I'm going back to pocket, going back to everything being in the same planner, then I'll just take it out and I'll just be using the same one. I won't have to remake anything. Um, this guy here is my PL savings tracker for my like AdSense and um, insert sales. This is also available on my shop or it will be this month. A lot of these things I'm like, we may as well be interested in as well. So this one is insert 30. So that's going to be coming out later this month as well. So this is a little bit of a preview for you. You start with your balance here and then you've got date in or out. And then there's a, the top line is for the description of the, um, the item. Then this fold out is my schedule. Like I'm trying to create five new inserts per month. And so that's what these are. I also had to release like quarter two of the dated monthlies. I released a whole, like I, I made my entire 25 now insert catalog in an additional size. So that was the whole thing as well. So it's available in half letter or A5 now. And then everything is just printed out and tucked in the string. Nothing is um, stapled or anything like that. So basically the first half is how I planned it out and the back half was just overflow. Um, but yes, yeah, so this one's a small, this insert is smaller compared to the others, but it's utilitarian. And that's basically it. I try to keep it kind of simple because I don't really want anything to have to be duplicated across planners. So this is only stuff that's not in the rings, basically. And I am liking it so far. We'll see how long it lasts me, if I can make it through two whole months of uh, separate planners. It generally always tends to gradu uh, gravitate towards having only one. Uh, I like having everything together, especially if I am out and about. Uh, I don't want to have anything that I need to be left at home. I don't know if you're the same way. Let me know below. Are you a one planner or two planner person? <laughs> or, or more than that, how do you do it? Do you duplicate information across or do you just carry them all with you? Or do you just never leave the house these days and it works for you? Anyway, start that conversation down below and I will see you in the next video on Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Bye. Thank you.